Hi there, and welcome back to Kitten School. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps that I use to socialize a feral kitten, taking her from hiding and hissing to purring and kissing. When I picked three-month-old Lilith up from the shelter, the staff made the sign of the cross as they handed her over. Apparently, it was going to take quite an exorcism of love to tame this little devil. As soon as we got home, I immediately set Lilith up in the social box, a small crate placed in a central location in our home. If you've watched some of my other kitten socialization videos, then you know that the social box is my favorite tool for helping scared kitties acclimate to a new environment. The kittens spend a few hours during the day inside the social box where they can observe the comings and goings of the family. If the kitten wasn't contained, she would just run away and hide, and then she'd miss out on all this crucial social interaction. A psychologist would call this exposure therapy, where if you're exposed to something that scares you and you gradually realize that you're not actually getting hurt, the fear will lessen. The social box method has worked wonders on so many of my scared foster kitties. Lilith wastes no time settling into her cozy social box hammock and she's soon right at home, but she's still pretty scared when we approach her. After a few hours of letting her just chill, I open the social box to say hello. Lilith bit someone at the shelter pretty hard, so I'm approaching her with caution. I'm going to offer a little bit of mozzarella cheese on the end of a chopstick. Lilith takes the bait right away, and after a while I slowly introduce my hand with a treat. Lilith is very jumpy, but the cheese gets her attention. She's learning that good things, like treats, are part of being a socialized kitty. Once Lilith has become more used to me putting my hand into the social box, she lets me give her some gentle strokes, and we'll repeat this throughout the day. When we're not interacting, Lilith loves lying in her little hammock, and she has the cutest habit of putting all of her toys into her food dish when she's done eating. From her perch in the social box, Lilith can meet the other cats, she can play, and she can just watch everyone come and go. Even when we're not directly interacting with Lilith, just being around us is helping to socialize her. That's why the social box is such an important tool for taming fearful kitties. In a couple of days, Lilith is relaxed enough so that I can pick her up. She snuggles inside my robe while I have coffee in the morning, and I walk her around the house. I don't want to put her down on the floor yet because she would just run underneath the sofa. I'd have to pull her out and that would be traumatic. So for now, we are just staying in the social box or I'm holding her. A few days later, I put a little harness and a leash on Lilith and I let her out of the social box. This allows her to play, but it prevents her from just streaking off and hiding under furniture. Lilith loves playing with the roller track toy, and she's soon having so much fun that she forgets about escaping. Lilith no longer reacts with fear when I pet her, and she's just enjoying being a kitten. I think we're making some real progress. After a few days of playing with the harness, it's time to let Lilith have some freedom, and she's earned it. I let her out for playtime on our screened porch. Almost immediately, Lilith jumps into a spontaneous game of tag with our cat, Snowy. Lilith has come a really long way since I first brought her home, but she's still jumpy, especially when you walk towards her. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time with her just engaging in play, cuddling, and just letting her get used to being close to me and also being picked up. I'm also feeding Lilith with our other cats, and she quickly learns to jump up into her spot when it's time to eat. I think that establishing these kinds of routines and structure goes a long way with helping a kitty acclimate to the rest of the family. Throughout the day, I'll just walk up to Lilith if she's laying on the couch and gently pet her and then walk away. 
So she's starting to get used to having people approach her and she's not bolting the moment that you walk up to her. And I want to emphasize, I'm not picking Lilith up every time I walk up to her. Sometimes I just walk up, give her a gentle pet, and then walk away. Because you don't want the kitty to think that every time you walk up to her, she's going to get picked up. Okay, so let's do a quick recap on Lilith's journey from hissing to kissing. She spent the first few days in the social box just getting used to us and her surroundings. Then we put Lilith in a harness so that we could interact with her, but she wasn't able to run away. We applied a very busy curriculum of playtime, rest, and lots of cuddling. And treats, treats, treats. It's been almost four weeks and Lilith has been a superstar. And I think that means it's time to find her forever home. Shortly after I post Lilith's photo and profile, Ryan comes to meet her. He already has a cat named Stitch, and he'd like to get a companion for him. Lilith is on her best behavior, and I think it's love at first sight for both. After the adoption application is complete, Lilith is off to her new home. After Lilith goes home with Ryan, he sends me some follow-up videos a few days later, and it looks like she's very, very happy. I know she's gonna bring years of fun and happiness to both Ryan and his cat, Stitch. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I know sometimes watching a video, it seems like things are very easy, but socializing a fearful kitten takes a lot of time and patience, and each kitty is different, so, while it took Lilith about a month to get her to this point, it could take less or more time with another kitty. I really hope this video is helpful to all of you out there trying to befriend your own Liliths. And remember, once you've won the heart of a cat, you'll have a loyal and loving friend for life. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, be sure to pounce on that subscribe button and join the Kitten School family. Kitten School is the place to be! Subscribe now!